What's up guys, my name is Fran and welcome back. So this video is gonna be a little bit different, a little bit less B-roll, a little bit less scripted. Um, not that I use scripts or anything like that in my videos, but uh, I wanted to take this time to do two things. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video that I would be mentioning the winners of the contest on my top five gadgets of 2016 video in a future video, and that'll be this one, as well as I wanted to take the time to sort of, um, I guess, make a reply to a previous video I made. So not too long ago, I did a review on the Akitsia Thunder 3, and uh, you know there was a number of you know positive feedback, but there was also a number of questions. And while I absolutely love answering people's questions, please keep it coming. Um, I'm more than happy to do that. I felt like there were some things that I left out of the previous video maybe I didn't make clear and also people asked me for a tutorial on how to get the Akitio Thunder 3 to work on a Mac so I decided to make this video to sort of go through all of those things all at once but first off I wanted to start this video by saying uh, thank you so much to all my subscribers in general but especially the new ones um you know I haven't been doing this for a very long time or, or maybe I, I actually have been doing this for quite some time um, you know, I got really discouraged at the beginning of 2016. I sort of just gave up and blah. Um, and, you know, I sort of, at the end of 2016, I sort of wanted to get back into it. And, you know, I've been, I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos. And, uh, you know, your comments are, are positive. Not, not all YouTube comments are cancer, like people like to say. Um, but, you know, and, and it's been very encouraging for me. So thank you so much for all my new subscribers. Thank you for everybody's like, positive comments for me. And um, here's to hoping 2016 can, you know, be, be awesome. Now we got all that sappy stuff out of the way, um, let's jump into some of the questions. So what I did was I took some of the more commonly asked questions from the comment section of the Akitsio Thunder 3, and I decided to um, just sort of answer them all in one and then I'll go into the tutorial. So um, the most commonly asked question that I kept getting was, the Akitsio Thunder 3, according to their website, uh, is only rated for 25 watts at the PCI Express slot, yet you put a 1050 Ti in there that needs 75 watts, does it work and do you need any external power? Uh, and to answer that question, yes it does work, worked perfectly fine, I did a ton of gaming on it, um, I didn't just you know play Overwatch by itself, um, I played a number of games, I, I used the entire computer for an entire day, and I had absolutely no issues, no overheating, no shutting off, uh, you know, I know I can't exactly explain, I'm maybe assuming because the PCI Express certification, even though they rate it for 25 watts, it has to supply 75 watts, according to that, to get that stamp, which they do have on the box. I, I'm just making speculation here, but that could be it. Either way, it does work, and, and don't be worried about, um, you know, needing any sort of external power. And that sort of leads us into our second most commonly asked question, is can you stick another video card, like the 1060, 1070, or even the 1080, inside of the Akitsio Thunder 3? So, Yes and no, right? So you, as long as the card itself can fit inside of the Akitsio Thunder 3, you definitely can. So now that does include the 1060 uh, by EVGA. It's a half-length card. There's a Gigabyte 1070, which is also a half-length card. And there's now, just announced at CES, a half-length 1080 announced by Zotec. So all of these mini cards, because systems just keep getting smaller and smaller, um, can now fit inside of the Akitsio Thunder 3. However, with one caveat that you do need external power for these high Ring cards. That's one of the reasons why I picked the 1050 because I didn't want to have to deal with that. But I understand it's not the most powerful card in the world. I mean, it's good for 1080p, but 1440 and above, you're definitely going to need a more powerful card. So I get it. Now, what I did was I did do an experiment just to make sure that, you know, giving you guys right information. Uh, I used two external power solutions. So I used one uh, AC to Molux adapter connector and also did a Pico power supply connector that would supply power to the video card. And the card I had to do the testing with, unfortunately, was the uh, Founders Edition GTX 1080. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't do it with my 1070s, both of them, uh, one of them's MSI, and that has two eight pin, and the other one is the EVGA um, for the win, which is, again, another beast with two eight pin connectors. So my Founders Edition 1080s, they both have a single eight pin connector, so I did testing with that. Unfortunately, with both of these external solutions, the computer immediately restarted as soon as I jumped into a game. It worked in the operating system with no issues, but it did restart once I jumped into a game. However, under further testing, I did use my uh, EVGA 850 power supply, 80 plus gold. I just used one of the eight pins into the video card, and in all honesty, it worked perfectly fine. I was able to play all the games that I wanted to with absolutely no issues, 150 frames plus or 140 frames, whatever the max refresh rate of my monitor was. So that solution did work out for me. 
So um, I would maybe recommend an SFX power supply. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they do things such as uh, taking something like the Kitsio Thunder 3, taking out the PCB out of it and making their own custom case, putting the power supply in that custom case as well. Um, and that's why I tried to use a Pico because the Pico is small enough to fit inside of the original KDO, but it just doesn't work out that way. So again, I'm probably rambling on, but yes, it is possible to stick a different video card inside of the Akitio Thunder 3, as long as it fits. Just remember it needs external power. How you actually get that done is up to you. Case closed. And finally, one of the more commonly asked questions is, how did you get the Akitio Thunder 3 to work with your 2016 MacBook Pro? Now, this is possible, however, I will say up front that it does require a lot of modifications and hacking and changes to the operating system. So I did wanna make that disclaimer right ahead. Um, if you're not the type of person who has a lot of patience, for setting these type of things up, I personally would just move on and maybe look at a different solution. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get started with the instructions. So the preliminary steps are to have Windows 10 installed into your 2016 MacBook Pro, and then you wanna have the Akitio Thunder 3 functioning with a proper video card. I recommend a 1050 Ti, however, there are other cards you can use. Once you've gone over this initial step, what you wanna do is make sure that you have the Akitio Thunder 3 powered on and connected to your MacBook Pro before you actually boot up Windows. Once you have Windows loaded up, you wanna to navigate to the NVIDIA website and download the latest drivers. Now, once you have your drivers installed after a restart, of course, you wanna go ahead and check your device manager. What you'll then notice is under displays, you'll have two graphics cards. In my case, I have the Radeon 460 as well as the GTX 1050 Ti. However, if you look into more information for the external graphics card, you'll notice that there's an Error 12. This is where most people get stuck when it comes to this eGPU setup on a Mac. Now there are two methods to actually resolving this issue. One is to use a piece of software called DIY eGPU. However, that setup can be a little bit crazy and actually could be a video in and of itself. However, the second method, which is a little bit slightly easier, goes like this. What you'll then do is go into your device manager and navigate to your system devices and look for the PCI to PCI bridges. What you'll want to do is actually disable one or two of these PCI to PCI bridges. In my case, I looked down to the third and fourth PCI to PCI bridge and disabled them. After disabling the PCI to PCI bridge, I then restarted my Windows operating system, making sure that the Akitio Thunder 3 was actually powered on before I turned back on the system. And then what I noticed is that my GPU no longer had the error code 12. Now this method does work, but I do wanna make a disclaimer that there can be some really quirky behavior. In my situation, my system was pretty stable at the beginning, but then I started to notice some kernel panicking or blue screens of death. Sorry, I'm not really used to using that word, but I did notice a number of errors uh, and I did lose sound and ethernet and I had to do some tweaks to the operating system to get all of those things to turn back on. What I assume happened is when you disable some of these bridges, of course, you're disabling some devices that take up PCI lanes that free up enough lanes for your external graphics card to work as a graphics card. And with that being said, while it does work, it's not the most stable situation in the world. So I would say buyer beware. Um, if this is your only solution, I definitely say go for it. But if you have other options out there, it might be a little bit cheaper and more convenient to pick up something like the Intel Skull Canyon Nook or just something else. And in regards to the giveaway of the two Amazon gift cards I said I'd be doing in my top tech of 2016 video, I have reached out to the winners. So don't forget to check your email inboxes for a message from me. And to everyone else, this will not be my only giveaway I do on this channel. I do plan on doing a lot more though, so don't forget to stay tuned and stick around for that as well. Hopefully I can be giving out some pretty cool prizes. So anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Sorry if I started rambling at any point there and hopefully this was helpful to someone. If I forgot anything or you guys have even more questions about the Akitio Thunder 3 or tech just in general, do me a favor, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video and or you just like me, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, my name is Fran. Thank you so much for checking out this video and hopefully I see you guys in the next one.